simply, if you pay me $5,000, I will not send this, th this video to anybody. Instead, I will delete the video and we will go part our separate ways happily. Hold on, let's make a first pick. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Legacy Cube, but we are doing some Drafterinos today. Um... Yo, breeding pool hype. I think I am taking that, by the way. Luis, thank you so much for the 41 months. That's so long. Damn. Breeding pool hype. I think I'm taking breeding pool. It's just like the best card here, I think. What is the video? Oh, so, 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 okay. So for those who like didn't follow along with the beginning of that story, my mom got a scam mail, a phishing mail today. And the phishing mail claimed that they had malware installed on her computer and that had a video of her watching porn and the video of what the porn video was. And if unless she sent $5,000 to this Bitcoin address, they were gonna publish it and show it to all of her friends. And so she's freaking out, but she's like, they did definitely have my email and she's like, Gabby, I promise you this video doesn't exist. Like, I don't watch porn. And I'm like, don't worry, mom. Like, this is fine. This is just some, ass some assholes trying to scam you. Like, we we're good, fam. So we like have to go change our passwords everywhere. And ooh, I do like me a sad robot. I do like me even Dillion Click too. Um, yeah, I was like, we're good fam. I know I'm a pretty big Click fan too, Louise. I think I'm taking that. It's the strongest card in the pack, I think. Ninja! Oh, hold on. I just realized we still have the music playing. We don't need to have the music playing anymore. All right, cool. We, we good though. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this. Uh, how are people getting calls from their own number? Anyway, so we went in there. We, like, changed all her passwords. We, we, I do, like, Frost Titan a lot. I think it's the best card here. Um, it's also in our colors. Um, you said, I mean, specifically, you do because there were Badlands and Spire Bluff there, too. Oh, well, you want, you want something that's, uh, that's fetchable, which makes Breeding Pool. Like, the fetches are really good, for sure. <laughs> what do we change her password to? I don't know. She changed it to her own stuff. Frost Tata. So we changed our passwords, changed everything. I like did a little research on the scam. Um, realized that it was like probably her like information was compromised in some sort of security breach or like she has a keylogger on her computer. So I was like, mom, you gotta get a technician, make sure that they reset your computer to factory settings, blah, 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 blah. I wrote this whole like thing for my parents so they wouldn't be stressed out. But like, it was so cute because she was so worried. She was like, I don't want to send you the email. What if they like get your info too? And I'm like, mom, I got you, fam. <laughs> so yeah, I know. I was like, it was so sweet. I don't know. She's just, <laughs> you're the family technician. If I were there, I would be the family like computer technician for sure. I just, I live so far away from them that I can't do stuff like reset their computer to factory settings. So they have like this one dude who's like reliable guy. And I think I want to take four spike here. I think it's better than, Nimble obstructionist. I could take lumbering falls, but <laughs> Mincucci. My dad is a family technician. I'm 200% computer illiterate. Says flu run. Get some lumber support. I I um. I like what you're doing there. I'm gonna take four spike, cause we have the start of a, like a pretty nice blue deck. We're actually very much treading into mono blue territory. The mono blue deck is not too bad. We take Roman here for show. Sure. Uh, yeah, Romandorino. So anyway, it was just so cute. It, it took me like two hours to go through all of this because my mom, bless her heart, is like not very like technologically adept and she doesn't know what her like username is for any website. She doesn't know what her password is for any website. And she obviously doesn't have any recovery options on any of them because like, why would she set them up? So. It did rob me of time. It, it, it did take me like, I was gonna go meet the, 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 the like direwolf guys for lunch. And then I was just like, all right, sorry guys, I'm out for lunch. And I was dealing with this until like just now. <laughs> but it was, I don't know, it was so cute. It's so sweet. My mom's such a sweetheart. She was like, thank you so much. You saved me. And I'm like, mom. <laughs> um, I used to be the family technician and they moved. Uh, my dad said the internet was broken because he pushed the zoom button. <laughs> ASPs, I, you might underground see, but Cobra's these two. Um, yeah, I think I like those better than Seagate Oracle. Uh, I'm kind of into just underground C and see where we go. Um, cause we don't have any strong reason to be any other color right now. And like Cobra's good, but it's not even like we're seeing like that much green that we should move into it or whatever. Uh, 
<laughs> oh my god, Luis. Dokumai! Aww. Almost two years hype. Almost two years, Gabby hype. Thank you so much, Dokumai, for the tier two sub. 27 months. Almost two years. Technically, technically correct. Everybody knows it's the best kind of correct. I'm gonna take into the royal here so you guys can make fun of me when I don't kick it. Um, there's always... Ooh, ooh, I like that. This is a good reason to, I think, try to move into green. So I tried to draft Tatiova the other day and I didn't get there. So now we can draft Tatiova and see if she's sick. You said, Termis, hey Gabby, have you ever been to GP? Uh, have you ever been to GP London? I haven't. The only GPs that I've been to outside of the US were when I was also going for the Pro Tour. My dad once says that there was a wire in the bedroom that did nothing, so he cut and threw it out. The internet stopped working and he asked me to fix. <laughs> yeah, clearly this wire is just not doing a whole lot. Um, wait for the mono green pivot. So you know what's funny is um, we could just take Elvish Mystic because Elf shouldn't have wheeled. Um, it just shouldn't have, you know. Gabby, okay, do you remember the Era Falcon versus Crucible Strip game? I was looking at that today and it made me realize that Dokum has actually been around for a while. Oh my gosh, I remember that, Molly. Yes. Yeah, Elvish Mystic came back around and it shouldn't have. Yeah, so we're, I guess we're gonna be like a blue, we're gonna be a green ramp deck again. <laughs> but we can't help it if they're just passing us these cards. And then the pivot to Mono Green just like yesterday. I will say, I don't think, we have a lot of really good blue cards. Yesterday we didn't have like that many sick blue cards. We just had some. Like we had Upheaval, which didn't even work that well. Here I think we're just exploring. <sighs> yeah, I mean, Lumbering Falls, Avenger came back. Maybe one Avenger. Do you think that Tatiava is good in this cube, Luis? I haven't drafted it, but this is pretty. Look, I don't know. People are gonna. <laughs> uh, I think I want Avenger there. Devoted Druid or Thren the last. I just devoted Druid. Look, people are gonna make fun of me for pivoting into green, but look at what we wield. We wield everything, all things that we would like pick really highly. Green is always open and green is such a good archetype. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Ooh, I like me a Bugarden Hellkite. Not for this deck, but it is a good one. Um, Bloodstained Mire is a... Fetches Underground Sea, so it turns Bloodstained Mire into just one of our colors. But it does not search for Breeding Pool or any way, shape, or form. Last card is a Fiendhorn Elves. So we might actually take that. Garrick Primal Hunter is not too bad. I think Planeswalkers are really good in this cube. Next game is gonna splash for Lady Atarka. That splash was good, Ninja. I want to hear otherwise. Um, yo, Riley, I hadn't seen you yet. How are you? City of Brass. City of Ass. Uh, I think I'm actually partial to the Garrick. We could also just take the Elf. Maybe the Garrick comes back because no one's drafting greens. Clearly, nobody drafted Elves. I second picked Lady Atarka last night because I felt guilty for passing her in the past. Who's the coolest Planeswalker? My friend Brad hates Jace, but I think Skidian is dope, so... I also kind of hate Jace Weenie, so... You, your friend and I would probably get along. I like me a Woodfall Primus. That card's great. Mana Gorger Hydra might be playable in this cube. We don't have a single card in our sideboard right now. You're a big fan of Karn and Vraska? Uh, I support both those choices. Hey girl, working on a report at work, looking at numbers. Time to listen to you. I like it, Riley. He is. Uh, Karn is, as they say, uh, middles and brutals. I do like Tychonic Grips and the green deck. You're not wrong about that. Nucleo, I do like the Woodfall Primus, though. I think that card's really, really good. That's, like, one of the better things to ramp into. We need a Natio. So I, I think I am partial to taking that. Like, Green Warden Moros is whatever, but... Ah, look at that. Misty Rainforest. I like that. Also, Misty Rainford is, is a tri land if we end up splashing black. Because this can get either color or breeding pool or underground sea. Oh, yeah, Ashiok is pretty cool. I agree with that. Uh, I think we just take a little bopperino. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Oh, damn. I don't call Green Warden whatever I like that card. Oh, I'm sorry, Fluvron. That card's just like not one of the more impactful six drops that you can get. In a format with Titans, just Green Ward is not really at its best. The bird is the word. Ooh, Carnage Tyrant is kind of. Oh, wait, 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 Shelldock Isle. 
Shell Dark Isle, you say? This card is really, really good. It's also really good when you can put really big stuff underneath it. Because you can put, like, Primus or Avengerinos, Frost Tatas. Though that Carnage Tyrant looks kind of tasty, and I would be interested in it. I like... Alright, hold on, we have a choice here. Acidic Slime is just... It's so good. I love Acidic Slime. I think it's so great in Cube. But Tooth and Nail is also here. Alright, people are super into Slime Ball. You made it easy for me. <laughs> um, I'm not that big a fan of, of uh, Kaiga. Topia Sprawl is fine. I think we'd rather take Elza Deep Shadow. It also sets up... Sets us up better if we find a natural order or a crater huff. Then just says if Tooth and Nail comes back, that's that that is definitely. <laughs> so let's just take Elza Deep Shadow. This draft drafted itself. Oh, look at that Lady Atarka. Though of course our Krufix is really good. Sylvan Library in this cube. It is. How can I check which what's the cube command again? Oh my gosh, Corsa and Tatiova is just amazing. Amaze! We need to pick up more fixing, because I would like to play this click, and I like all my blue cards. So we, we want to be able to play them. Cube Sylvan Library, Cube Sylvan Library, Cube List. Aw, oh, see you later. Yeah, bye bye, lady. Then both stopped editing the cube command. Alright, so then I guess we will not. I guess he would have had to do that manually, huh? Garrick came back around. If you love your Garrick, let him be free, Garrick. How, how is green so open? I don't understand. It's such a good archetype, too. Oh, damn, I did pass Mimic Vat, huh? Was there a Mimic Vat in that pack? I totally didn't see it. This isn't a Mimic Vat deck, though, I don't think. I didn't see it. I don't think we would have played it, though. I feel like this is not the best archetype for it, though I do think that card's really, really good. Every deck is a Mimic Vat deck. Yeah, you just want like kind of like cheapy creatures and ways to sack them and ways to put stuff under the vat and stuff with really good ETVs is kind of what you want. Like Acidic Slime is really nice, but all of our other stuff is not that amazing. Yo, Nav, welcome on in. How you doing? All right, well, we got the Green Warden Marasa. We're not, probably not playing it. We can put it here for now though. We can make some cuts as things progress. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. Scooch this over. So these are all our playable lands. This is the sideboard that we're not using yet. So, um, Whisperwood. We're definitely not playing these. I'll play Kiora in the sideboard. But we're not playing her. I don't think she's very good. <sighs> yeah, this is just like I will say. The only reason I'm kind of interested in her is because I do think Planeswalkers are really good in the cube. We can, ooh, hello. We did it, fam. This is kind of like exactly what we were looking. We were wanted a natural order or like a crater huff. And we got there. Because we have, look, we have all the elves. We don't even have any of the elves that can't attack. Like, we don't have to carry it to the world. Though that one's a really good one. Huff, there it is. Okay, let's see what else we got. Uh, bunch of spooky no art cards <laughs> oh jesus there's a Rafellos here oh man mm. what's our uh what's our forest situation we can play Rafellos, but we're not audibling into mono green this time because we actually have some really really good blue cards that i would like us to play and Rafellos Rafellos can we're almost mono green. We are. <laughs> God, we can't pivot it to mono green again. All right. No, I don't think the click is making the cut, Molly, but I kind of want the tattoo and Frost Titan, too. Like, this is just a Phyrexian Metamorph, I think. He said, who called it? So we're not going to end up in mono green. I, I guarantee that. I don't want to end up in mono green. We have some really good blue cards. This time around, we have better blue cards than last time we audibled into mono green. Um, so let's put a revoker here. Yeah, this click's not going to make the cut. I don't think four spikes going to make the cut. Remand could make the cut into the royal can too. Frost Titan and Metamorph make the cut, and Tatiova should make the cut. So am I sure about it? I'm not 100% sure, but I think the, la the cards that I have here that I blue right now i would like to play i see you chad don't don't you 
Don't you even? <laughs> Technically, Metamorph is not green. I guess, didn't we have a Metamorph yesterday too? To be fair, even if we're making fun of that pivot, it was a good pivot and we trophied. <laughs> yeah, Metamorph, a great blue card. I Arcane Artisan did seem really sweet. Ooh, Dread Green Seekers in the cube! But this is just Jiroga Tree Speaker. Hey, look, Soul Ring. Yeah, Metamorph makes me miss Pot. I think Pot is in this cube, Mikuchi. So, all's good in the all's good in the world. Um, okay, we are done taking uh, ramp things. We have plenty. I don't even know that we want the devoted droid anymore. Green Seeker is really good with Corsair. Why not Silvala? There are lots of one drops, and she draws cards. Um, I I do think it's like pretty important to get the like. Um, to have all our bases covered for the uh, for the ramp creatures, especially when we have Crater Huff in our deck. I think we just take uh, the queen. Yes, queen! Queen! <laughs> Considering making this deck for Brawl, is it worth it? Do y'all think the format will be able to stand the test of time like at EH? Um, I think it's pretty popular. Ooh, I like me a primetime. Primetime is better in this one, because primetime could get shelled up Guile. Mmm. We get ourselves a nice nice little Shelly action. Let's get rid of this Green Warden Marasa. Oh man, Noble Hierarch too? Wait, Noble Hierarch's so sick because it totally splashes for green. We have to take Noble here. All right, I think Devoted Druid is no longer making the cut. Fact or fiction, we have to take this. All right, so maybe what we cut is the into the remand. We don't need the remand. And we don't need the Into the Royal. But we do need... Splashes for green. <laughs> Splashes for blue. Devoted Druid is good, but we just like have so many... Like, we have so many ramp creatures. Oh, actually, Devoted Druid's better than Explorer, I think. Um, so now we take a Fof. And... Edric is actually kind of sweet in this deck, huh? It's better than Hissing Quagmire. I don't want to work her Borough Elder. Yeah, Edric is good in this deck. I might not play the Frost Titan. We'll see how our sources look in a second. We don't want any of these. I guess we'll take the Glare of Subduel. How do we make cuts? Good question, Molly. You're asking some great questions. God, Frost Titan's so much better than Rampaging Baloths. Though, I do like Silverheart with Edric because you can just put it on a little creature and pow pow. Yeah, exactly. I, I so I think I'm actually partial to to the silver heart there. Uh, now we can ooh dryad green seekers. Wait, what? I took an entreat. I clicked it. That was bullshit. Kind of into the green seeker life. Yeah, I think in green seeker, especially once we have Corsair. Livecrasher's best year is great because that's like the replacement Silvala. Okay. I played 15 lands last night and I was 100% right. Did you really? This deck is so good. Yeah, we didn't get Mooly Dooly. I do think I want Tatio in this deck. So good with Primeval Titan too. This deck is just... <sighs> and it... To think I almost said that we were not going to pivot into Mono Green. I can't help it when everyone is passing really great green cards. That was so strange. Okay. Let's make some cuts. We have 27 cards. We might not be playing... Yeah, Mana Gorge or Hydra out for sure. Birds, elves, 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 elves. We have a million. I think I want to play 15 with this. We're not going to pivot it to Mana Green this time. Our real cards are too good. Uh... No, we don't necessarily need all of them, but it does let us cut on sources. Because we have a lot of card draw. Like, Lifecrasher's best Jerry is actually really nice with these punks. And Edric is really nice with the elves. Fire to Fiction is a nice ways to... <laughs> it's not our fault if we get handed one of the best decks on the silver platter. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Yeah, I think Green Seeker is the worst card if we're only playing 15. So we could just cut that. Yeah, Dave... I was thinking about this because it's definitely our worst one drop. Um, what's our... We might also cut Frost Titan. Let's see. So our blue sources are 
Underground C, Shelly, Misty, which tutors. Well, we don't actually even need Underground C, do we? Um, breeding Pool and Not Inspiring Vantage. So between Noble Hierarch, Birds of Paradise, that's two. Between Birds, Noble, Misty, Shelly, and Breeding Pool, I kind of feel like we don't want Frost Titan, and instead we play like Green Warden and Marasa or something. He said, I love me a Frosty T, but we don't really need it. We have enough fighters. Yeah, I think we actually can do just with a Green Warden and Marasa. I think that is fine. We could also maybe play Kiora. Misty grab C, but we don't need black. Misty can just grab blue. Yeah, Kiora is slow. Uh, yo, Sanchez, welcome on in. How are you doing? Nah, let's not play Kiora. Let's just play, I think, Green Warden Marasa. It'll, it'll be fine. And then everything else. We need, like, one blue storage, I believe, so we can, can be fetched. Because Misty can get... We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. We need to add one more forest. How often do you think we'll end up in forest, Shelly? We're fellows in a starting hand. I'm going to lose my mind if we do that. Uh, let me get some of the drink. I'll be right back, you guys. I like the replacement of sip. <laughs> Yeah, I like our deck a lot. We, that's funny because we had the start to a pretty good blue deck and we just like ended up, <laughs> this was the same thing that happened yesterday. Oh, cool. My mom's getting her computer wiped. Cool. You guys, I, I can't believe this. This whole thing with my mom was so cute. <laughs> it was so sweet. Aww. She was like, but I don't want them to know your information too. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. Corin Horn with a damn 39 months. Corin. Yeah, for a Gabby Street. Thank you. My goodness. That is a. <laughs> That's a hell of a resub. 39 months, huh? Thank you so much. Uh, yes, turn to best cherry seems so good. Has ever already come here begging for sideboard cards? No, I don't think he has. I'm, I, I think I might need to beg for some sideboard cards too. I might be short some stuff. It might be something so silly. It might be like a relic of progenitus or something. Yeah, what is Aber playing in Detroit? Ah, welcome on in. I was mentioning in my stream earlier that the only thing I want to do in Cube is cast Genesis Wave with Tatiova and play. That sounds so good, Synth. Ooh, that was even better. You guys didn't want to level up Jirga Tree Speaker. I feel like it's so good if we actually get to level it up. I guess it's like pretty bad against these colors if we actually just do the thing. Hi, Gabby. Hi. Good luck. Have fun. I just feel like the upside is so nice if, if we actually get to level her up. If they level it up and they kill it, you get ranched. That is true. You two we played yesterday was all hexproof like, oh yeah, you brown me. <laughs> all right, well, it looks like we got there, fam. Mm. Oh wow, this soda is like frozen. Mm. All right, so we're going to play Laugh Cash's best year end and try to try to go off, yeah. Um Yeah, we can't cast Tatiova yet. Dude, it's a yummy frozen soda. It really is good, I swear. I swear. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold this land for Tatiova cuz there's no reason for me to play her. I can't play her until I have Noble Hierarch in play. So let me just go this. I'll pay one for this. Ooh, that's not too bad. 
Um, this is, you have to pay green, right? Yeah, so can't pay for this with this. Unfortunate. Also Deep Shadow being kind of stupid here. You think I should still play the land, Molly? We do have a nice engine going with everything we have here. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. We don't, like, as long as this is rolling. Uh, do I need a... I don't need this. Not really. I'm gonna bottom it. I'm gonna try to resolve this Whisperwood and, and pay for Best Jerry. God, I've been impressed with Best Jerry. It was really good yesterday. We had this one game where, like, Best Jerry won us the game. Eh, well, we got that anyway. Now I think I'll play Tatiova. Although I guess against Wrath, Whisperwood's a little bit better. Well, we didn't really tap wrong too much, Shifter. We just didn't know what we were drawing. We drew into a creature, and then I couldn't cast it with all a Deep Shadow. Because, like, we didn't have that card at the beginning of the turn. Um, it's the best areas. <laughs> Basic. <laughs> um... Let me tap. So it's ta bouncing this and it's countering my Tatiova. Well, we still get to pay for it, which is not too shabby. I would like to pay for that. We got our Brofellows. Play a forest. We can play Brofellows and then pay for Best Jerry. Yeah, bouncing it seems like a losing proposition, to be honest. I feel like we're just spinning wheels, but we've drawn a million cards while doing so. Can we get a Hoferino? I do like that. Top that. Top, top that bad boy. That's four, five. We can just start making beasts. Um, <laughs> they, <laughs> you're not wrong, Molly. You're a smart cookie. Uh, <laughs> uh, you figured it out. You would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those nasty hobbitses. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're a smart cookie. So this, this guy overruns in a bit, right? Uh, no, that's different Garrick. He makes worms later down the line. No, 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 no. actually, you. Uh, I guess an exalted trigger, so there's no reason to overextend into this. All right, we have a pretty good control of this board. Even if they wrath us, we have the Garak. Next turn, we can play the Whisperwood. The Locust God. All right, whenever you draw a card, create a 1 1 blue red insect creature with flying and haste. Draw a card, then discard a card. Okay. No worries, Rototo. There's a lot to keep track of. Let me crack this real quick. Oh, I guess I could have gotten Breeding Pool. We don't have Double Blue or anything, though. That's cool, but we can overvalue it, I think. This is just a free roll, basically, so... Um, you know what we could do? We could draw cards right now, and if we find Hoof, we can just Hoof them. Because we can even... Oh, the Locusts have Haste, right? Yeah, when you scry all to the top because they have a free card attached. I'm thinking about... Yeah, I'm thinking about actually, like, Garricking minus three uh, equal to the beast. Because... Yeah, and then we can maybe, like, block with this. It seems fine. If we draw Hoof, we just, like, win on the spot, so it feels like it's worth it. Mm. We could copy a Locust God. What is this? Whenever you draw a card... Yeah, well, let's just try to go off, shall we? All right, well, let's make our own locust god and start making thingies. Come 
copy that. All right, so let's, I guess we're just glimpse of naturing here. Um, let me play my forest and then tap my Rothfellows and go devoted druid, pay one for the best Jerry. <laughs> this is so sweet. Oh, hello. Avenger is not too shabby. Elves of Lenor Elves. Pay one. Make a dude. Fiendhorn Elves. Pay one. Make a dude. Shelly! Okay, well now we have some blockers also for... For the Locust God. This is really stupid. I like really love it. <laughs> I think it's great. Uh, what are we sending with? We don't even really have great attacks. Yo, the fizzle. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's either everything or nothing. Kind of into sending with everything. The fizzle. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Beast token seems pretty free. I kind of want to send with everyone. I think. Then they might kill my Garrick, but then I can, like, almost kill them on the crackback. I hit for one, two, three. Not this. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it seems like it's good enough. Let me send with... Not you. Not you. Yeah, we the Garrick is whatever. Alright, we can send with all of these. It's a good amount. Wait, it was gonna send only the beast. It just eats it. Oh, because Exalted. Yeah. We don't get as much damage through that way. That's the only reason not to, I think. Uh, anyway, we're just going to pass. Yeah, they would have to cast it again. Yeah. It is not as much damage. We get six damage in otherwise. Sure. All right, cool. You know they had Wrath, I don't think we're super worried. I guess if they Wrath, they do get their Locust Bag, and then we lose our Garrick, so that would be a thing. Uh, I think our deck is just perfect, so I'll send it back in. I know, that was so sweet! <laughs> Who knew that the Locust God was so cool in our deck? That's why I like Phyrexian Metamorph, by the way, because I think it does lead to some of the more interesting things, like, like that. Cloning the heck out of them? Oh, yeah. Forget how will the new gods and clones work when they die. Um, how do they work, actually? They... I don't think you get them back. I think I did a lot worse this time. I had a pretty good draw. <laughs> oh, it does come back to your hand? Also, this is a sneep. Seemed like it. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's keep this. So you do get it back. I mean, when you do copy a persist creature, you do get you do get it to come back with a minus one minus one counter. So, I guess that would make sense. Get the breeding pool node later, then turn two. Um. Yeah, we can, we can do that next turn, actually. Man. Yeah, now it doesn't really matter anymore because of we can't play the Tatiova as quickly. So we can just go Forest into Devoted Druid. Yeah, that was a little rude. Juking is rude. So is Searing Spear. Uh, Mind Stone is acceptable. This is when a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents. So this can't deal combat damage because it's a, like a 0-2. <laughs> um, so you can do 1, 2, 3, 4 with this. Yeah, we. I think we're going to like set it up to play Edric next turn. So um, we can get both elves down and play Misty. Crack it at the end of the turn. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's play Elves and another Elves. And we'll play the Misty. And then not even attack. We'll crack it to get Breeding Pool and then we'll cast Tatiova and then Forest. 
breeding pool. Nope. No, no pay. Not today. Ooh, that's a nice one. One, two, three, four, five. I actually should have um tapped the devoted druid. Because then I would be able to attack here. All right. That didn't resolve, so I guess we can just play that. This deck seems so much reactive. Ours is gas, gas, gas. They were just like Grixis stuffs. Maybe just blue red stuffs. Oh, I like that they're cracking the mind stone. That's great for us. Missed the attack for zero. That's why I thought maybe we should use this, but then that puts a counter on it, so it is an expendable resource, you know? Um, I think. That's not true. It taps for free for mana the first turn. Oh, is, is that true? Hold on. Ah, never mind. Yeah, so we could have sent in for one. Anyway, I think we should play Edric here. Yeah, it's not. I thought it was like Wall of Roots. Never mind. Oh my gosh, please let this connect. Yes! So good. Freaking poggers. All right, we'll just play Jirga Tree Speaker and we'll blow up their mountain next turn. Pillar of Flame on my Edric, that's fine. It already draws two cards. Wait, hold on. I think I do want to sink some mana into the Jiroga Tree Speaker and then Acidic Slime, probably the mountain. They could, yeah, they might have Cryptic here. Cryptic does seem pretty likely. I think maybe I'll just attack. So I'll send with these three and see what they do. And then at the end of their turn, I'll just fall off. Ooh, hello. Oh yeah, I could have leveled. I kind of wanted to attack, but I guess this doesn't, this, it does tap it. This is apparently not a level two speaker stream. I do love leveling it up, but it was a little dicey for a second there. Jeez, are you serious? It doesn't tap to level? Oh, that's a, that's a tap ability. For Forest or Shelly? I guess it's like a pretty easy Shelly, huh? That's unfortunate. It's all good. One Shelly boy. All right, so we just gotta make sure that we raise this Thunder Maw. Um, cause they're tapped out now. How many lands of Shelly will we see? <laughs> yeah, there were six lands on top, yo. So I think, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, potentially. Uh, we can 10 if we, if we, uh, tap the, untap the Devoted Druid. And then that means that we don't play Shelly this turn. Because this can be one, two, three, four, five, six, and we remove two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so maybe we just whisper with Shelly and bash with everybody else. Level up here. Play this, whisper with Shelly, and send with these two. Yeah, that sounds fine. All right. Uh, ooh, we got... We, damn, these were our next four cards. Our next four cards were so good. <laughs> we It would land, 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 land into Avenger, Woodfall, Primus, Corsair, Crufix, Green Sun, Zenith. Yeah, I like Avenger too. It's the most damage because we're going to need it. Okay. And yeah, our, our Shelly's live, right? 20 or fewer cards in it. Okay, so now we can send with these two. And let's morph. 
Vad tända. Oh. What? Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield. Oh man, rampaging ferocity is the hard counter. Jeez. I know. We we I think we might have to flip the BM block. The queen trades with the dragon. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. We're gonna have to ambush this thing in a sec. It's seven mana. So let's send send Whisperwood. Oh boy. All right. So let's play forest. How much mana do we have? Do we have enough to turn up? This is seven. I would need way too much mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, potentially. I can't even really play cards while Frost on is out. Yeah. So the thing is, I have enough, but do I even want to play it? I might not want to. You think slime is worth? We can blow up their island, which does take them off of cryptic. That is pretty good. Yeah, time twister, that's what I'm thinking. Well, we can ambush B2. We take four off of queen flipping too, and another one from acidic slime. Oh, the B, the B is a... Uh... Has already entered the battlefield, so yeah, it's not... It's just gonna flip and ambush. Alright, so let's go... This is triple green. I just want to make sure we have enough. Yeah. This is five. And I have enough for the other ones. Okay. Ferocidon is working me, yo. Uh, we cannot get what we have under the Shelly. Choose an artifact or creature on the man on the battlefield for manifested creature number two. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it wants me to ch- Is this a bug? Is it asking me to choose- I think I'm supposed to choose Thunder Mahalkite. What do I do here? I don't, it, cause it's choosing a creature, right? No, it should not pick anything. It's just supposed to be a manifest. All right, let's, let's just choose an elf. I, it should not be this thing. Maybe we can choose this. I'll choose my other manifest. It won't let me. No, okay, it'll let me. So it became a swamp. That was one of the weirder bugs I've ever seen. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you flip Phyrexian Metamorph to Whisperwood Elemental. That was so strange. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh, I don't want to take one from that. <laughs> choose the thing. No, I choose Swamp. Yeah, I think I actually have to... Float the mana and then put a counter on it to untap it. Okay, now I can try to flip this for its cost. And I really don't want to do the, like I said, the Elves of Deep Shadow because I don't want to lose life. That was one of the weirder bugs I've ever seen on Magic Online. I wonder what happened if we picked a Thunder Maw. Like, why did it give me a Swamp? I definitely don't have a swamp in my deck. We need to flip the metamorph swamp for science. <laughs> you can't flip a manifested land because it's not a creature. You can only flip a creature. That's so weird. I do remember swamp as being mystery manifest on m 2 for some reason. That's such a weird bug. I don't understand. 
I guess maybe it still thinks it's like a, a metamorph entering the battlefield or something. This hand's good. No, I didn't pick the elves. I picked my other manifest. My other manifest was a face down Hornet Queen. I figured that like the easiest thing to pick because I'm not so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to pick there because I'm worried about like picking it and it actually ETBs as something wild. <laughs> so the lesson here is that what MTGO divides by zero, the answer is swamp. Um I don't think I could time twister it. I think it uh, it forced me to pick. No, don't kill it. Okay, that's fine. There was an option. I guess I could have hit cancel then. Weirdly, that could have hurt you in a weird circumstances. Whisper or sack ability might really want you to be able to flip your zero zero up. Um, yeah, I kind of think I'm sun seen a thing, seen a thing for. Oh, I didn't take a screenshot. Yeah, we can get noble. I, I think we should green sun zenith. Yeah, noble's the best one. <laughs> Manifest and clear became grizzle brand. <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of dicey to put all of our eggs in the Droga tree speaker, as the saying goes. Wow, porcelain legionnaire. Uh, yeah, I'll not be blocking this. Okay, well, at least Corsair Crufix is a pretty big game at this. One, two, three. Oh. Technically, we could play Acidic Slime. Below a Porcelain Legionnaire. But I kind of want to just play Corsair. Okay, well, we didn't get there. I just want to make the land drops. You want to slime ball a land? I thought about killing... I mean, to be fair... But then we can't ever block the Porcelain Legionnaire. I guess we'd have to wait until we play the Corsair. Okay, can we... Okay, nice. We had a land on top. So I think we just want to set it up so that we turn, uh, we play Hornet Queen in a second. So I think we should just go one, two, three, four, five, six, play Prime Time, and then use the ability, get Shelly and Breeding Pool, I think. Um, I would like to pay to life now. And then just get a million triggers. Okay, our options underneath the uh, Shelly are Edric, Life Crusher's Best Jerry, and Lambs. I guess the best card out of this is... Our deck is so good. I love our deck. I think our deck is great. I think I like Edric too, Time Twister. I'll take that. Bin the rest. Tattoo on top. Leave this back. We're back to 19. And next turn we can Hornet Queen. I don't think they can beat that. We could Avenger too, depending on what's on top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so we can definitely do everything. And they're going to have a hard time beating that. Tatiova's going to help, too. Ooh, Rekindling Phoenix, huh? So we have Atlanta Worlds on top. I'm kind of into... Oh, man. Garrick for draw six is, like, not too shabby, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's like pretty nice, huh? I think I, yeah, I, I agree with that time twister. I think we are just playing Tatiova and hitting with prime time. Because we also don't care to draw that Lana Worlds at all. Oh, it gets exalted and everything? Very nice. I would like to use the ability. Uh, let's get just two forest, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Draw a card. Tatiova. Gain some life. Gain some life. Still hit no lands. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we do get to kill that thing. I wish we could uh, kill the elemental, but we don't get to, sadly. Um. We have three mana left. 
Yep, we don't go here. <laughs> we missed the land drop despite drawing so many cards. It was pretty unlucky if you think about it. You can't ever catch a break, huh? <laughs> the Misty would have been nice if triggers off of one land. Yeah, maybe we should have gotten the Misty. Yeah, we'll, we'll queen soon, because they are going to start attacking with these Phoenixes. We get to start attacking with Tatiova and Corsair in a second. Should have played Slime and blowed up the Artifact. More value. Uh, I think I like my line better. I do think the Misty for extra landfall would have been nice. Oh, Hordling Outbursts? I mean, those are good blockers. Yeah, our, our line drew a bunch of cards. That's so sweet. Gosh, never... Never lands, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So... Yeah, I think we just play Hornet Queen and then we'll metamorph copying Hornet Queen for more bees. It is pretty unfortunate that... Yeah, we can Shelly now. We The Shelly is live. Fof is tempting, but I think playing the queen, the queen is really nice. These creatures are just not good at... Like, they have ways of coming back and stuff, but these these are good defenders. And then we get to make some more of a Phyrexian Metamorph. We could um, send with Tatiova. She stops us gaining life, but they would have to, like, chump it with a goblin, basically. Because it's going to be a 4-4 because of uh, Exalted. No, I don't want a Rofellos. I, I'm going to use my Shelly to get my Edric Spymaster, and then we draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, let's, we'll just Shelly into team. All right, I'm not going to attack with Tatiova, I don't think. Where's the honey at? <laughs> Die books, I like that. I'm probably gonna block. This is whenever an opponent is dealt damage by redness or sorcery spell you control. Return Sean just Phoenix from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna like put some bees in there. We have Metamorph to copy it. Oh my gosh, would you know? Don't trick me. I will fall for stuff like that sometimes. <laughs> Alright, they got an Ellie back. And it's time for us to Edric. Is it my turn yet? Oh yeah, we are... Because we're probably gonna... Because we get Rofellos down and then we can... Ooh, they're fork bolting my... No! My Hornet Queen! Wait. No way that makes more sense than killing two insects. Really? Oh, that makes sense. Our opponent is in the chat. That explains it. They see my Metamorph? Well, they also are in the chat, so I don't know about all that. Yeah, that doesn't mean that they're ghosting, though. It's different when people do something sketchy. If it's just on top of my library, that is different. Let me cast this. All right. So I, we'd still get to get in with insects. Let me see if they left the chat. Nope, they're still there. We can contract Edrin and keep drawing cards. Yeah, that's not going to work out so hot. So we have to be careful of the Chandra's, sorry, the Rekindling Phoenix that is going to come back in a second. Copying Corsair is interesting. We don't have any cards to play. Playing Avenger is kind of sweet. That's a, that's a good way to finish a game. The problem is then we don't have a way to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> yep. Kind of want to fall first, and then we'll decide what we do. Jeez, no lands? 
Well... <laughs> Don't land's just a huff, never lucky. <laughs> Funnily enough, we can, if they give us green sun scene it, we can just like tutor for the hoof and just play a bunch of other creatures right now. Oh, that's right. It goes to the yard. My bad. I guess we're just taking hoof then. All right. We'll, we're taking pile two. Green worm and Morasa on top. Never lucky. Can never draw the thing we want. So let's just set up for hoof next turn, I guess. Um... We could Garrick for Lance <laughs> and get back Lance with Tatiova. That's actually not too shabby. I kind of like it. The other option is we can make just like a beast. Dude, I think it's legitimate. I think maybe we should just make a beast though. All right, we'll just make a beast. We'll set up for... Because we don't really have like a good play here otherwise. I'll make a beast. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit with one Hornet. Draw the Green Warden Marasa. I wanna leave one back for like. I just wanna see if I can hit a land off the top here. All right. I mean, this was the, the game with Shelly where we put like all lands to the bottom, so. The Wheel of Fortune is not in cube. Yeah, no, we're not gonna duck. Don't worry. We will be fine. We'll cast the Crater Health next turn, and we are off to the races. Oh, Hoof is more than lethal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hoof is never not lethal. It always seems like maybe you can survive a Hoof, and then you, like, do the math on it, and you're like, nah, we can't, can't ever survive Hoof. Never not dead to Hoof. I survived a, ho a hoof once, maybe. <laughs> I think I've seen somebody cast a hoof by itself one time as a blocker. I think that's the only... And then I was like, wait, hoof is a 5-5? Five -five? It like somehow didn't even like register that it's so small. Because it always comes in the battlefield and it's like a 10-10 or something. Alright, so we're playing against uh, Mono Red, it seems. Mana Gorge or Hydra is not the worst against these decks. Maybe I want that over Life Crusher's Bestiary. And then just that. Uh, when am I moving? I, so I don't have the movers yet. yet. I, I have to close on the house first. I want to make sure that the house closing goes well before I actually schedule movers. But I'm not looking forward to having to move again since I moved very recently. So I'm going to go see if I can find some boxes behind some sort of store. See if they have any free ones. I survived the hoof. Is that a t-shirt that you get? That's true, don't count your chickens before you inspect. Yeah, no, totally. So that the house inspection already happened. Um, that was yesterday, yeah. It was yesterday before I fired up the stream. And uh, why am I moving again? I bought a house, tie box, I'm excited. So the inspection went well. Everything that was a problem was like a very minor thing. I know, lady, thank you, I'm so excited. I think maybe you and Molly might be staying at the new place. I wanted to do like some sort of get together for a GP Denver, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. And now that I don't think this this apartment's gonna be playable, I don't know what that's gonna look like. I'm thinking about it. Thank you so much, Slice. I appreciate that. I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand is nice. So when am I moving? I don't know exactly. Ooh, Swifty. Gotta get Swifty in here. I don't know exactly, but it's towards the end of the month. We're moving to and got a bunch of boxes from Hobby Lobby of Yeah, Rob, I'm I'm looking I'm gonna go to a store. They always have a little something something. Oh, come on. Sounds like you should uh sounds like you should check yourself on your company, Stunlock. Okay. I think Hornet Queen's like probably the best thing to put underneath here. This is pretty dope. Bees. Oh, thank you so much, Freddy. You're so sweet. I think I think I'll be fine. It's not gonna be too hard. I I already had to declutter a lot before even moving here, so I don't think. Like you know how a lot of times with moving, one of the things is just just have to throw away a bunch of things that you didn't even know you owned. 
Um, this is a little different because I already did that when I moved here, so I'm not gonna have to do all that cleanup. So apparently you cannot cast your own creature exile by hostage taker after treachering the hostage taker. What? Wow, my opponent has all the answers this time. Oh, you're so sweet, Freddy. Oh boy. Katharina? Oh my god, they picked the summoning sick mountain. <laughs> it always happens. It always happens. Always, 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 always happens. <laughs> All right, we're very dead. Uh, I'm going to have to metamorph copying the Swifty, I think. Uh, just because I don't have... I, I just need a blocker, basically. If I draw land, we might... We're not okay, but we might be... Oh, de decent. Decent. I'm gonna go ahead with decent. Oh, Riley, thank you. Yes, yes, Riley. That's the that's the plan. Oh boy. Um. Okay. Yeah. We're we're just dead. Let's go to game three. Moto tells you which one just entered the battlefield. It does. So if you right click a mountain, it says newly controlled. I've done the Koth problem because I believe. When you play, like the, where the mountains land, it's like the most visible mountain. So when you caught the most visible mountain, you're usually targeting the like summoning sick one. Um, but yeah, the house inspection was uh, was pretty good. They there were like a lot of like little things, like things that were not up to code. Like this tree is too close to the wall and just random shit like that. But it didn't seem like it was anything like huge. How many lands are we playing? We're playing fifteen. We have seven one drops. It's just a Denver slice. <laughs> We're moving to your old stomping ground, sorta. You're going to Peoria? Yeah, I've never been to Peoria, I don't think. I always lived in, like, the city, city in Chicago. Dude, Luis, don't make fun of me. Look at, look at this deck. Just look at it, okay? <laughs> Tell me... Tell me, look, we were drafting and Lana were elves wheeled all right, all the way around the table. Uh, this one we have to mulligan, unfortunately. No, look at this Shelly. Yeah, Mystic and Lana were elves wheeled. We're gonna have to mulligan again. This is so sad. Mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this. Um, no. This hand is missing Rafellas. Yep, yeah, it is. All right, let's green suns for like noble hierarch. All right, don't kill my noble hierarch, please. Well, there goes that. Maybe I should have topped that forest. I was hoping to just draw into more elves and stuff. Yeah, it's extremely dead. Let's see what they do with their scries. Bottom, top. Oh yeah, we are super dead. Well, we mulligan to five, you know, what can you do? If our sideboard plan, our sideboard plan could be sweet. They're gonna have to... Spend some time killing this Mana Gorger Hydra, and then maybe we draw enough to get to Tatiova. Look, we're en route. Also, we could draw like a Corsair Crufix or something. Oh, Jesus. Now I feel like we're just very dead. Wasteland is was the nail in the coffin. I used to say I played H, didn't let me play modern, and now I need played H to escape from modern. Oh, Pab. So I guess if we draw, uh, oh my gosh, Koth is, is dubs. I wonder if they're gonna hit the same mountain this time. 
They learned from their last mistake. Let's see. Oh, they're adding mountains. Oh, Jesus. Yo, we're in fun. It came back yesterday. All right, let me just see what I draw real quick. Because if I draw course or crew fix, maybe we're in the money. We're not. Okay, we're super done. Moto me once, shame on you. Moto me once, twice, shame on me. Uh, chat, who's going to... Um, who's going to, to Detroit this weekend? Who do I get to see this weekend? I'm pretty hype. That's one molly. We got ourselves a molly. Oh, lady. Oh my god, I have the same. This is fine, dog doll. Yes! I, that one was a gift from Molly. You see it right there? Oh yeah, who 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 was your third? Is it Squirrel? That's so cool. What about Montreal? Uh, is there a GP in Montreal? If there is one, I am not aware of it. I want plausible deniability about having boggles on your team. Look, just embrace it, Molly. You just gotta live with it, you know? Boggles, Tron, and Tez. Holy crap, that's a hell of a three- <laughs> That's a hell of a three dex combination! Boggles, Tron, and Tezzeret. Yeah, I live in Mountain Time Zone and no big tournaments over here. Come here ever. Oh, Starman, I live in Mountain Time Zone too. I thought this was a no shame. This is true. This is true. This is a no no kink, no deck shame stream. Oh, I'm gonna keep this. You guys know that I would never kink shame you. Big fan. Aw, thanks. Less than three. Good luck. Have fun. You too, they said. You're going to Denver's as Slivers! Oh, yeah. You guys... Detroit style pizza, I never had it before. It actually is like cash money. Cash me outside. It really is. Um, hold on. What are worlds first? Um, it's really good. It's like they it's like a like fluffy pizza almost, but the crust, like the corners are like crunchy. When is GP Denver? It's October, I want to say. Oh, chat, what do we think about the six Pro Tours next year? That's a big game, right? We missed on a land drop, but we get to play Noble Hierarch and Birds. <laughs> Bag. Yeah, I. it's so many Pro Tours. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like... It's good that they're all the same price payout. Like, I think it would be really bad if, like, they all paid the same, but it was just six Pro Tours, for example. Wow, I got browned. Yeah, Toxic Deluge is very good against me. Oh, come the... Well, if this Life Crusher's best year resolves, we might not be as horribly dead as I think we are. Because Green Warden Marasa can maybe get us there. God, Lily gonna deliver to you. Aw, slew bars! That's so sweet! Are they gonna tick me up and make me discard my Hornet Queen? Okay. Gotta bottom that. We need to try to hit lands. Uh, I don't know if we can ever come back from this. Like, Green Warden Morass is not the terrible way to do it. Alright, we are dead. I don't think we have that much to do against them. Yeah, it's like, okay, opponent, sure. I see how you want to be. We don't have nothing to board. Man, it's going to be such a bummer if we want to with this deck. This deck was so cool. 
Uh, I don't think Hydra's good here. I, I only only wanted Hydra against a deck like a red deck. Because it's a creature that gets pretty big. They have to use removal on it. It's pretty cheap for us to play, so. <laughs> for Spike Yolo. <laughs> Why isn't GP Denver? I don't know. They they always do it out by like the burbs. They they do it out by the airport basically. This hand's good. Um, which is so unfortunate because there's a nice downtown convention center with like nice food around it and No, yeah, you were lied to, Molly. You were lied to. I also thought it was in the city center this year and then they were like, "Lol, no. Good beats." <laughs> Um, I do like me a hoof underneath this thing. Hoof, there it is. All right. Well, this hand's much better against Toxic Deluge, so we have that going for us. Yeah, it's basically out by the airport. It's so shitty. Also, that convention center is just kind of shitty. I don't know. It's like really cramped and small. I don't, I'm not a fan. Let's try to play an Edric and see if we can draw a card out of this. Nice. I would love to use the ability. That's not a bad one. You said, well, whether is it like Denver on October pants or shorts? Um, I, so I actually don't know. I've never lived here during October, but my guess is going to be, given that it's convention center, uh, is pants. What am I binning here? Green Warden or else I can buy something back. So maybe I just bin the like Woodfall Primus. I kind of want to... Are they reanimator? Uh, I kind of... Yeah, I kind of don't care about... How much do I care about Lily? I kind of just want to draw cards. I think I'm just going to go... At them. That was a really good draw. Damn. Okay. Um... Yeah, we'll just pass. Yeah, they, they have some sort of, there's some sort of reanimator deck, but it also looks like it could be like a blue control deck. I wish this were an EOT FOFYL. <laughs> Ooh, that card's cool. Uh, that sucks for me. Uh, feels bad, man. I have no idea how we would ever deal with this Massacre Worm. Uh, I do not believe we can win this game anymore. Is this a weep friendly stream? It totally is. Kep is safe here. You are safe, Kep. You can be a weeb here. No one will judge. Or maybe some will judge, but I certainly will not judge. <laughs> um, all right, so that's five. I guess our best bet is to just play as many like one drops as we can to try to set up uh, like uh, Green War Numerosa or like, because then the Lily's a little less effective against us. So we can go Elvish Mystic. This and this. All right. Um, we can level this. Oh yeah, we can level it up. Nice, so we we did all this, and they'll have a sack something. We'll sack, like, Elvish Mystic. And then next year we can start playing Primetime and stuff, and I think at that point maybe... This used to be a never-level-up drug at Tree Speaker. 
Yeah, it's possible that Hoof gets there or something. Like, I don't... I think I'm just gonna take this. Feels like a wrath, but I just feel like uh, we're in really bad spot if we're just jumping with our creatures because like we kind of need them. I don't think we need this Tatiova as much as we need all the other stuff. Like I think we're actually gonna go for prime time here. An Avenger, I think, is necessary. Whoa, they binned a Stillum guard. Jesus. So they're on one card right now. Um, if we tap Birds of Paradise to Huff, Huff gets... Um... No, Pog, I don't think it's necessarily right. Number of creatures you can do. So each one gets plus four, plus four. So it is lethal if they don't have anything. God, I'm pretty... I'm pretty dang nervous though. They could. It's always lethal except when it's not. I know. They do have only one card, which does make it a little bit more appealing, but they discarded a Silumgar. Yeah, Lily is ulted next turn. Yeah, I, I, let's just do it. Okay. And there's no way for me to get other creatures in play, right? No. No, there's not. Oh, but you know what I could do? I can play Life Crafter's Best Year to draw a card. Um, cause Hoof is gonna come into play and I can draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> we drew a breeding pool. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what happens here. They don't have something like Venser. They could have Into the Royal. Oh my gosh! We won? God, Hoof is so good. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 that's the wrong one! Uh, no problem, you're welcome. Thank you, Pog. Yeah, it, it did work, Pog. I was like, there's no way this is lethal. Wait, actually, it is lethal. It was 15. It was literal 15 that we hit them for. All right, well, we still are just submitting our deck. Can't believe we won there. Oh my gosh. Can't believe it, yo. Hoof is never not lethal. Like I said, I have a, I have seen a Hoof one time block. <laughs> Only time I've ever seen that. Gosh, we have so many one drops. Why are we getting these hands? Mulligan. all again. I guess we are on the draw. This is too slow, though. Was it 19? The ambush hoof of a Shelly to block. Yes, I think I did that, or like Louise did that. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Uh, this looks much better. Ooh, that hoferino. Green Warden is not really what I want right now. Hey, Dice Hoarder, that emote doesn't exist for nothing. <laughs> Are you streaming or recording? Green Ward is not what I want right now, literally everyone every time. It's just very slow, I agree. I'm gonna devote a druid, I think. Wait, why is it not working? Oh, sorry, that's, uh, what am I doing? That was two mana. Sorry, I was just cheating so hard. I was too busy cheating so hard to realize that I couldn't cast my card. JVP, the MVP, as BK calls them. We could metamorph copy JVP. It doesn't feel like it does that much. We could green suns for two. Yeah, we could green suns for Rofellos. Kind of like that. Then if they toxic deluge though, they can kill both of our things and they can keep their JVP. Yeah. I think I'm still just gonna. All right, bro fellows, it's all you. That's all we want for sure, right? Yeah. yeah, it's gotta be bro fellows. All right. Do your thing, boy. 
sure. All right. You may choose not to untap Old Man of the Sea during your untap step. Then they tap gain control target creature with power less than or equal to Old Man of the Sea's power for as long as Old Man of the Sea remains tapped and that creature's power remains less than or equal to the Old Man of the Sea's power. Yeah, so we get the Rafaelos for one turn. So we get to one, two, three, four, five. I mean, this just has to be Acidic Slime, and then we copy Acidic Slime, right? And then we, we, we kill their Swamp, probably. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up, Socrates. I'm gonna get their Swamp. Uh, we can metamorph the old man of the sea after they use it. I kind of want to metamorph just acidic slime. I did not, Freddy. Sorry. <laughs> I've been uh, super busy with GP Detroit coming up. I've been trying to get my deck ready and all that jazz. Also the house stuff. Still means are good. Okay, I assume they're going to steal my... Yep. That was rude. I kind of think, when are we streaming Tron? Probably tomorrow is gonna be our day. I have been like getting the deck ready off stream though. I think we're gonna uh, metamorph copy, probably acidic slime, blow up their swamp again. Um, and then play Jiroga Tree Speaker. Oh shoot, they got a little action? Oh, they didn't remand our Jiroga Tree Speaker back, I see. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna attack. I thought about it for a second, but then the old man of the sea just like takes something new, so there's no reason to. Uh, I'm playing Tron Navy. The thing that's annoying about it too is that now if they have Toxic Deluge, they could just do it for like two and flip their jace they get jays they kill everything oh my gosh don't deluge me don't deluge me i don't think i should say what my teammates decks are freddy i don't care about saying my deck at all but i don't want to give away what they're playing uh okay jvp i think god i feel like this is toxic deluge when do i get into detroit um Pretty late, actually. Are they both playing KCI? Uh, we get it. We get them pretty late because I, I we took a late flight coming out of here because I wanted to stream tomorrow. They bend a reanimate. Okay. You're calling a GP side events. We're gonna go spike events and finally win an oversized magic card. Oh my god, PJ, that sounds like such a good plan. I love it. That is such a great plan. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to deal with both walkers, which is not great. I'm surprised they didn't make me sack. I think I'll just bend the devoted druid. Hmm, I would have liked it if they attacked. Um... No, it could mean that they just don't have a uh, have any big cards in hand, so the, the reanimate doesn't do anything. Um, Wong. What are we discarding the Lidley? Maybe it's the... Maybe it's the Metamorph. Like... Yeah, maybe... Actually, Freddy, I like that line. Metamorph to copy row fellows, and that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, and then we can um, crater hoof them next turn if that resolves. That's a good plan. All right, so we're going to bin the Birds of Paradise to Lily. So we kick it off by leveling up Droga Tree Speaker. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. That doesn't work. They just steal it right back. Oh, man. Um, 
Maybe we copy Jiroga Tree Speaker and level her up. Yeah, that's the new plan. So, hold on. Copy. Yeah, I can't do it this turn, but that's fine. And so we'll leave Birds of Paradise to discard to Lily. So once this is upgraded, so not the next turn, but the turn after that, we'll have to discard whatever we don't draw to Huff. Yeah, Old Man is kind of working us, huh? You think Old Man is an underrated card? Any married to coping Old Man? I don't think so. I think we care a lot more about, like... I guess he'll un we, we get into this weird like standoff with old man. <laughs> Each player discards. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Yeah, Delone, but then we have to discard Crater Huff. Alright, so now we just level up Jiroga Tree Speaker. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll have wait to have Lily make us discard again. Copying on is bad against JVP. Oh man, you're totally true. They like make it small enough and then you just get it back or whatever. Sure. Go for Planeswalkers? Yeah, this is the, the legendary hoof of not lethal. <laughs> yeah, so we're sending with like... I guess it depends on what we draw. Cause, yo, Krypton, welcome on in. Hello. That changes things, doesn't it? Does it? But then I, I have to bin one of these two. Yeah, we still have to go... Nice, Crip. Thanks. Yeah, so I think we just have to hoof and go after Lily. Alright. Oh, come on. Alright, we did all of that for nothing. <laughs> all of that, but it was for nuts. let him do that. I, I refuse. Yeah, I'll get away. Welcome on in. Did I play Fortnite? Mm, a little bit, but not too much. I don't play any on stream. The reanimated of like making me discard? Yeah, they did. Let's see how they split it up. I do speak Spanish. About not getting to do all this fun stuff. Now it doesn't want an opponent to get Lily Ultimate. <laughs> oh, weird. Why are they putting Ruffellos in the interface? Because I don't have Ruffellos. It's not one of my permanents. Oh, they gave it back? Interesting. Cool, thanks, Crip. So they took one of my Jiroga tree speakers. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the point of all that was, but yeah, we are dead. <laughs> Go beats. Good beats, we tried. We tried so hard and thought so much or whatever, however the lyrics go. But in the end, we got browned. Our deck was really good. I think we ran a little bad for that to happen. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.